Hi, my name is Claudine Farah. I'm a physiotherapist at Action Sport Physio in Laval. And my name is April Edwards, also a physical therapist at Action Sport Physio in Laval. So today we will present to you some exercise that will help prevent an injury to the anterior cruciate ligament in the knee. This ligament joins the femur to the tibia. Those are the two long bones uh, in the knee. The ligament will procure stability to the knee and it will prevent an interior shear, so an interior movement of the tibia. It will also prevent some torsion movements that could occur in the knee. An injury to the, this ligament uh, occurs in sports that require changing directions real quick, like basketball, soccer, football, and ultimate frisbee. So today, we're going to present you three exercises that you could do at home that will help prevent uh, an injury to this ligament. So for the first exercise, it's the squat. Starting position, we want our feet at shoulder length. Second of all, we bring our pelvis and Botox backwards like this, bring them down as if you wanted to sit on a chair. And to get back up, you contract your Botox and push in your heels, just like this. What's important during this exercise is to keep your knees aligned with your toes. So when April gets down, her knee stays aligned with her toes. What we don't want to see is your knee pulling together like this. That will increase the stress on your joints and increase the risk of an injury. So that's for this first exercise. For the second exercises, it's the leg curl. You're going to come and lay down on your back. You need an exercise ball for this exercise. So April is going to come and bring her heels, put them on the ball. First step, contract your Botox to raise your pelvis like this. The pelvis has to stay aligned with the trunk. Second step, bend your knees to bring the ball as close as possible towards your body, and then relax. So another time. And relax. Very good. At the end of the exercise, you bring down your pelvis. Good. So this exercise will reinforce the hamstrings muscles, that are the muscles situated at the back of your thigh. Those muscles also uh, play a role to prevent the interior shear of the tibia and the knee. For the third exercise, we're going to combine the squat movement with a vertical jump. So the starting position, it's the same as the squat. We have our feet shoulder length. So we're going to bring down our pelvis and Botox. Once you want to get up and expose, you're going to push with your legs and jump as high as you can. What's the most important thing is the get down. When you, when you land, we don't want you to land with your knees straight like this extended. That could increase uh, the risk of an injury. What we want is to absorb the jump and absorb the shock. So how do we do this? It's to uh, get in a squat position. So she'll do it again. So she's going to jump and absorb the jump in a squat position like this. When you land, what's the most important thing is to keep your knees aligned with your toes. So her knees stays aligned with her toes. They don't go towards the inside like this. So those are the three exercises that you could do at home to prevent an injury to the interior cruciate ligament. Those exercises, you could do three sets of 10 reps going up to 20 reps, depending on the way that you train at home. Don't hesitate to contact a physiotherapist to, that will provide you a program that is specific and adapted to your condition, and also that is adapted to the activities that you do. Also, don't hesitate to contact us if, uh, in case of an injury to the interior cruciate ligament in the knee. Thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day.